Hi guys, Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto channel, Archie Luxury channel. And today I want to talk about, I got a better watch than Paul Bettany. That's right, I got a better watch than Paul Bettany. And who is Paul Bat Bettany? Well, I was scrolling through the internet, looking on uh, YouTube for uh, things about Paddock. And uh, I came across this article on GQ magazine. And uh, it talks about Paul Bettany. He's from... Uh, he's the voice of Jarvis in Marvel Cinematic Universe, The Avengers, Iron Man, Captain America, oh, he, his role as Vision in Captain America. Okay, there we go. What a cool guy. And anyhow, anyhow, guys, he was talking about his most prized possession. And his most prized possession, of course, is a... Patek Philippe wristwatch. I mean, why, why, why not? Why not? I mean, I, I, I love a Patek myself. I love a Patek, and it just—it's quite an interesting thing. This is an international movie star, cool guy, a bit, a little bit arrogant, a little bit cocky, but um, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he was saying, "What's his favorite possession? It's not a house. It's not a car. It's not." anything it's a Patek Philippe a Patek Philippe wristwatch and quite interesting choice he's got the uh 5227 5227 is the uh it's the classic Calatrava with the officer's back he didn't seem just looking at the interview which I'll put a link at the top and in the description he didn't seem to know terribly much about it he was saying it he, he didn't know I don't think he realizes there's different models and he, he, he just, he mentioned he had a 1930s one which kept breaking. So on his 40th, his wife got him a Patek Philippe. And uh, a little bit cocky, a little bit smart-ass hipster for, for my liking. He, he made a, a reference to cocaine use. In, I mean, just, just, you know, I don't know. I suppose that's how these trendy, arty-farty fuckers are, aren't they? That's, that, that is how they go. And uh, I got to tell you something. I got a better paddock than you, fucker. I got a better paddock than you. I mean, I got a fucking world time. Fuck me dead. This this is uh, a world time. I mean, I mean, Paulie, Paulie. Um, let's be completely honest there. You know, I love your paddock. It's a beautiful paddock. But I mean, the reality is, Paulie, I got the deployant clasp. Okay. I got the deployant class because it's a higher end wristwatch. And Paulie, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna technical dazzle you, but I got the 240 base movement. You've got the 324. Which the 324 is a great movement. Had that in my Calatrava, the 5107. And I also had it in the 5035. But to be completely honest with you, Paulie, um, the, um, the world time runs rings around your paddock. Not that I'm trying to big note myself or up and show. I am an international YouTube celebrity. I am a, uh, you know, I, 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 I am quite famous. I'm, I'm very famous in, in certain circles. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, in all honesty, Paulie, um, yeah, I, I completely understand. That is a wonderful, that is a wonderful possession to have there. Uh, the 5227, beautiful watch, beautiful, beautiful, I, I, look, look, I can't, I can't, I can't say anything bad against it. It's a beautiful piece of horology. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really quite pleased to see you're, you're proud, you're flying the, the Patek banner proudly, and, uh, what a, what a great story there. What an absolute great story. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic wristwatch. Uh, mine's better than yours, Paulie, but hey, 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 that's, that's okay. But, you know, what, what a great story you told there in GQ magazine. And, um, this is the wonderful thing, is that my, my Patek Philippe itself there, I got a world time, Paulie, world time, world time, world time. Um, it, it's, it's a cool watch, very, very cool, very, very cool watch indeed, and, uh, I, I gotta tell you, in all honesty, I, I, I love my Patek. I really do love my Patek Philippe. I think it's a superb watch. It's absolutely superb. I, I love Patek, 
And uh, the wonderful thing is, you know, with with uh, myself, I didn't quite uh, I didn't quite have the um, the gift when I was forty. My my uh, my main squeeze at the time got me my reverso. I got a reverso grand date as my fortieth. The the Patek I had to I had to pay for myself, Paulie. I had to I had to pay for that little critter myself. Um, but I probably for the price of these two, <coughs> I still had change after you bought your five two two seven. So that's the advantage of buying on the <coughs> having the knowledge and buying on the used market, Paulie. But uh, look, we can't all be wheeler dealers. I mean, congratulations on the five two two seven. That is a amazing wristwatch, absolutely amazing. And uh, I got to tell you, it, it is it is a, it is a great thing to have. I mean, it's much cooler than a car or anything, you know, a speedboat, shit like that. There, a paddock is a really cool thing. And you know, he's part of the club. I'm I'm in that club with Paul. Paul, what's his name? Bethany. Bethany. I'm in the same club as Paul Bethany. I'm slightly higher up in the ranking, of course. I mean, I'm I'm a um, I, I'm a major or a captain, whereas he's a uh, a lieutenant. But hey, we're in the same club. We are in the same club. And uh, I've got to tell you, it is it's one thing to have a paddock, Philly. They are a special, super duper watch. And I, I understand where he's coming from. It, it is a absolutely fantastic piece to have. It's fantastic. I love my Patek Philippe. I, I really do. It is cool. It is cool. And I love watching his videos. His video's got a lot of passion for it. And it makes me think, what an idiot I am for wanting to sell my Patek Philippe. I mean, just just keep it. Enjoy it. Um, I think I think that's the thing with it. You just you just love it, don't you? You know, you learn you learn to to love it. You learn to love it. Um it's a beautiful thing. Paddock Philippe is a it's a very special wristwatch. Very special wristwatch for a very special person. So um I, I share the love. I share the love. So there you go. I've got a uh I've got a great paddock as well. I'm part of the club. And uh it's it's probably you know, this is probably one of the most exclusive clubs with the I think the minimum entry. What what do you need for a good paddock? Twenty two to forty thousand US dollars. I mean, it's not a lot of money, really, is it? To be in this elite group, elite group of individuals on the planet. I'm Paul Pruder, Archibald Chesterfield the Third. Tell me what you guys think of that. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch. Is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.